This video is sponsored by NordVPN. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to surf the internet without a trace. Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, a phone I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to, despite the fact that we just had the Samsung Galaxy S20 series released. And of course, these people most likely are the ones that are Note loyalists who want the S Pen on their Samsung device, period. So let's dive in and get some details about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Note 20 that is anticipated to release sometime in August or maybe in September. In this video, I'm going to talk about the design, the specs, the pricing, and things like that. Now, first and foremost, let's establish something based on historical data. Every single Samsung Galaxy Note 10 device that comes out is always based on the S version that came right before it. So right now we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 in the market and we know for a fact when the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 comes out, it's going to be almost like the S20 plus it's going to have the S Pen plus a few minor enhancements. That's just a given. That's the way it is. It's always easier to guess what the Note phones are going to be because they're based on the S phones and S phones are a little bit more harder to guess. So we have established that the Note 20 is going to be very much like the S20. Uh, saying that, let's talk about the specs. What are we going to have as the specs? It's not going to be anything new. It's going to be the same stuff you get on the Samsung Galaxy S20. So the processor is going to be Snapdragon 865 processor. We are going to have 12 gigabytes of RAM. We are going to have super fast charging. We're going to have wireless charging. We're going to have wireless power share. We're going to have IP68, water resistance, and all that good stuff. And of course, we'll most likely have two versions. So I think the Note 20 is going to have a Note 20 Ultra and a Note 20 Plus, and they're both going to be 5G models, which means the price is going to be over $1,000. There's no question about that. It will go as high as $1,500. Again, there's no question about that. So they're going to be some really expensive devices. And the reason is because they include the 5G, which increases the price of these products by two to $300. If you take off the 5G module, the price just drops. But for some reason, Samsung decided to have 5G going forward. So we are going to have that high price tag and the 5G included in the Note 20. So those are the specs, and of course we are gonna be talking about the camera. I'll talk about the camera. There is gonna be some improvements on the camera. All right, and I'll explain what they are, but let me quickly talk about the design of the Note 20. So real quick guys, I know we love the internet, but everything that you're doing online is basically being tracked by everyone, including your service provider. Now with NordVPN, your location and your connection can be completely hidden and secured under a military grade encryption so you can surf the internet without a trace, no matter where you are, whether that's your home or in a public location. So if you do care about your privacy and your security, grab NordVPN. It's so secure, it even allows you to trick the system by making it look like you're surfing the web from another country while you could be sitting in the United States so you become untraceable and hack proof. Now, if you go to nordvpn.com slash org slash Saki Tech, what you're getting is 70% off plus you get one month free and of course you get nothing to lose because you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So make sure to use the link nordvpn.org slash Saki Tech, which is also linked down below. It's time to become untraceable. It's going to look very much like the S20, except it's going to have a boxier design. Now, if you look at these smartphones, we have a Note 10 on the screen and an S20 Ultra. And you can see S20 Ultra is a little bit more playful with the rounded corners. But the Note 10 is a little bit more professional with a squarish design, which is the difference we are going to see on the Note 20 over the S20, it's going to be a nice, professional looking, boxy design. And of course, one thing I know for sure is the construction on the Note 10, oh, I'm sorry, on the Note 20 is going to be Gorilla Glass 6 front and back. So it's going to be a highly durable machine. Now let's uh, move on and talk about the camera. So with the camera, here's what's happening. 
Uh, the S20 Ultra, the S20 Plus, and the S20 have slight issues when it comes to focusing performance. Now the camera modules themselves are amazing. These are high-end modules with large sensors, but the focus, the software focus, is having some problem, and an update was issued to fix it, but it's not perfect. So that's where we're gonna get a big benefit with the Note 20. When the Note 20 comes out, it is already gonna be refined. The camera is already gonna have all the software updates up until now. It is gonna use the same sensors as the S20 smartphones, but it's gonna have all the software improvements that we're gonna see released up until the Note 20 is released. So right at the bat, the Note 20 camera is gonna come out much better, plus we are gonna have some additional software enhancements. So when you think about the camera, just remember the Note 20 Ultra is gonna have the same camera as the S20 Ultra with maximized software refinements, so the focus is not gonna be a problem, so it's gonna be an amazing camera. S20 camera is truly a stunning camera. It just has some problems with its software optimization. All right, so that's the camera. Same camera as the S20, but it's gonna be refined. It's gonna have all the patches. It's gonna be great. Now, another thing, of course, is gonna be the S Pen. And that's why people want the Note. That's why people skip the S line and they're willing to wait for the Note. Now, not everybody is a technology reviewer like myself, so they can't have every phone on the market. So if you are a regular consumer and you are uh, always interested in the Note products, naturally you have to skip the S line and wait for the Note, Note 20. Not only because of the S Pen, also because of all the software improvements and patches it comes with out of the box. So it's a very smart thing to wait for the Note 20 if you already own a Note 10 and you like the Note 10. Skip the S, go for the N. Now, one more thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess on. Again, these are all educated guesses. These are not just blind guesses. It's based on historical data. Now, every time the Note smartphones come out, they also offer a few extra pro features. Now, with the Note 20, the only pro feature I can think of, because let's face it, the Samsung Galaxy S series are already professional ultra devices. They just basically have everything except the headphone jack maybe. So I don't know what the Note 20 can do to make it even a more professional device, but I can think of at least one thing, and that's the fact that we might get wireless Samsung DeX functionality on that smartphone. As more rumors, as more leaks come out, we're gonna refine all this knowledge. I'm gonna make more videos to give you guys updates, but that's what we expect so far. Uh, one thing we just have to swallow at this point is the fact that the pricing is gonna be over $1,000. If for anybody that price is too high, simply don't buy the device. It is a very expensive price tag, but like I said, the 5G modules that they put into these phones now are very expensive because they're in their infancies. It's a new technology. It's not something that's been around a while. So that's why the price is very high. Instead of being $1,000, it's $1,200. Instead of being $1,200, it's $1,400. So all that's a problem, but unfortunately that is the case. So that's it. Uh, Note 20 is going to be an improved S20 with an S Pen and with some minor enhancements and of course all the software refinements and software patches, it is definitely worth waiting for and skipping the S if you are into the S Pen, if you are into the Note lineup. We have had some preliminary design renders from Let's Go Digital that look pretty cool uh, so far. Anyway, let me know, are you guys gonna be waiting for the Note 10? Are you already bought the S20? All right, so let me know what you guys think about the Note 20, the upcoming Note 20, uh, which should be released by August or, or September. And let me know if you're gonna get it or you have already purchased the S20 Ultra, S20 or whatever. Drop those comments down below, let me know. And for now guys, have a fantastic day, all right?